In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to search an element in a linked list and how to iterate over a linked list with an example. Let me quickly create a linked list. Let's say we have a linked list with list of programming languages like C, C++, Core Java, Java EE, Spring Framework, Hibernate Framework. Now I want to check whether a particular element is present in a list or not. For that I am going to use contains method. For example, let's call a contains method. So contains method returns true if the list contains the specified element. Okay. So let me go ahead and let me check the C element. Okay. And this method returns true. It means we have to use boolean as a type here. Let me print the result to the console. The result. Alright, so let's run the program and you will to see true is printed because C element is present in a list, link list. Okay. So this is the usage of contains method. Now let's see how to find index of first occurrence of element in the linked list using index of method. For example, I want to get an index of core Java element. For that, what we can do is we can simply say int and let's say index equals to Call programming languages object and then call index of method. So look at here index of method returns the post occurrences of a specified element in the list. Okay. And let's pass the element. Let's say code Java. And let's print index to the console. And if you run the program, we'd able to see two is printed on the console because core Java element is present at a index two, right? So this is at index zero, and this element is at index one, and core Java element is at index two. That's why it is printed two. Okay, so this is the usage of index of method. Now let's see how to find the index of last occurrences of an element in the linked list using last index of method okay for example let's say int let's call it as last index and call last index of method so last index of method returns the index of the last occurrences of a specific element in the list Alright, so let's go ahead and let's pass Spring Framework as an element to the method. And let's go ahead and let's put the sys out here and let's say last index of the occurrence of the element. So, what I will do, I will create one more, I will add one more element like spring framework so look at here i have added spring framework element twice and uh, if i run the program i would be able to see the index of last occurrence of an element in the linked list you see different five okay So last index of index of means uh, it will find the index of last occurrence of an element in a linked list. Okay, great. It's pretty simple. Alright, guys, we understood how to search an element in a linked list. Now let's see how to iterate over a linked list. So there are many ways to iterate over a linked list. We can use a iterator or you can use for each method 
or you can use uh, for each advanced loop and we can also use simple for loop all right let's first see how to use the iterator object pro programming languages object and then call iterator so look at here iterator method returns iterator over the elements in this list in a proper sequence let's go ahead and let's call iterator method and this iterator method returns a iterator object let me just simply copy the return type and paste it here and give a reference like iterator and here we can use a while loop while with iterator and we can just print the element to the console okay you can just rename this method uh, variable let's say prog and if you run the program and you will be able to see all the elements are printed in a console now the second way is we can use for each method so for each method is introduced in java 8 and we use lambda expression to provide implementation for functional interfaces for example here we have programming languages object and if i call for each method for each method internally uses consumer interface and we have to use lambda expression to implement consumer interface and here we're going to use we're going to use lambda expression here so arrow syntax and put this out here and just pass element that's it and if you run the program you would be able to see the list is printed in a console it's pretty simple right uh, great now let's go ahead and let's use for each loop it's pretty simple string let's say element e and then programming languages and put the sys out here and just print e and if you run the program and you would be able to see the list is printed to the console Alright guys, so these are different ways to iterate over a linked list. So in this example, I have demonstrated how to create a linked list, how to add elements to the linked list and how to search elements in a linked list using contains, index of, last index of and different ways to iterate over a linked list like using iterator, for each method, for each advanced loop and you can use a single simple for loop to iterate over a linked list. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next one.